I want to say I'm adding to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you can you please tell me about yourself, Pranav? Yes, sir. Vikram, adable. I'm adable to you. Yes, sir. Adable, sir. Please introduce yourself. Ah, uh, my name is Vikram, sir. I have completed my masters in biochemistry from Bhavan Sri Vivekananda College. Bhavan Sri Vivekananda College, sir. Usman University. Did you complete? Yes, sir. When when did you complete it? Twenty one batch, sir. Two thousand twenty one batch. Good evening, sir. Yes, tell me. Myself, Taslim, sir. I completed my M Pharm C in. Tell me, what's your name? Taslim, sir. Taslim. Okay, Taslim. Okay. Uh, I completed my M Pharm in SPSP College in Tirupati, sir. It's affiliated to JNT University. I just passed out in twenty twenty one. Uh, and forms in pharmacology department, sir. So, how did you find that class? How to came? How you came to know about that? Actually, I'm interested in this field. Like, uh, I'm interested in this software related job, sir. Who told you about SAS? My friends suggested about SAS, sir. Like, they are they, they are present working in SAS. So actually, one of my friends uh, done coaching in this institute, and uh, uh -huh. he placed the name call job also. So he suggested me. What's his name? Veer Shiva sir. Okay, okay, Veer Shiva. Ah, uh, no sir. He's my reform classmate only. So actually, I'm searching for a good institute for this coaching. So he came across and told me that this will be a. Good institute. Like, Did you attend last few classes? No, sir. Today is my first class. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes, sir. This is my first class. Okay, okay. Thank you. Pooja Gaur, I'm adequate to you. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir, you're adequate. Can you please tell me about yourself, Pooja. My name is Pooja Gaur, sir. I have graduated bachelor's in pharmacy from Tegla Krishna Reddy College of Pharmacy, Hyderabad. Okay. Yes, sir. So I have. Did you complete? Two thousand twenty-one. So how do you know about SAS? um actually uh, one of my seniors uh, uh, did the uh, learn this uh, sas sir he said that there is a good package if you learn and actually uh, my goal is to do masters in usa so if not uh, if not i then i'll go to the masters in usa Yes, yes. Did you attend last few classes? No, sir. I have actually attended uh, today morning's class. Do you remember me? Yo, you you came in today's morning, right? Ah, uh, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I I took a master's in health informatics program. Okay. Uh, so I have been trying for USA since two months. Uh, so I wanted to learn a uh, Simon Tillerson this SAS program. If you are learning health informatics, you know, Prudhi. Yes, sir. We have another student, Prudhi. Am I able to you? Prudhi Raj. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you are also doing health informatics, right? 
బేసికలీ హెల్త్ సైన్స్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ వర్క్
whatever the extension you have written, that is going to be the DBMS. Now we should write DBMS is equal to XLS. Semicolon. And this is the end of the statement. Now we should write a semicolon. Now this is the end of the program. Run semicolon. Always you should close your program with the run statement. Mm -hmm. Understand? This is the program yes, I am writing. Now what I should do? I am going to select this program. And then you need to execute this program. How to execute it? Here we have a toolbar. In the toolbar we have a submit button. Now we should click on the submit button. When I click on the submit button, the program has been executed. Now, if the program has been executed, the result of this program is the creation of a table called car. By default, this table will be created in the explorer window in a folder called libraries. In the libraries folder, this folder we have a work library. In the work library, now here we have a cars table. I told you, in SAS, a table is called as a data set. And then whatever the columns we have, and I told you, variables. Uh, so we call it as a columns are called as a variables. And then the rows or records are called as a yeah. observation. Observation. And I told you this is called SAS terminology. This is a data set which contains 15 columns or 15 variables and which contains 428 observations. 428 observations. This is the table. That is how we create, this is the data set. That is how we create when we have data in an Excel sheet. Understand this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes, sometimes we will get the data. Yes. I think yesterday I was told to DBB, DBMS. Hmm. Did you also have written the DBMS, no? Okay, okay, sir. Now, sometimes uh, the data may come in CSV files. Here, again, on my desktop, I have a SAS folder. In the SAS folder, again, we have SAS data folder. In that, I have one more folder called you know, CSV. In the CSV folder, I have few CSV sheets. CSV files. You see here, here we have few CSV files. And one among them is hot. Now, if I click on the CSV file, this is going to get opened. Now, can you see how this CSV file is getting opened? Can you see? It is opening in Excel format. Excel. You know what? You, you can see, you can open a CSV file in Excel. That is the default. By the way, what you mean by CSV? CSV means comma, separated, values, file. CSV means comma, separated, values, file. And we can open a CSV file in a, in a Excel sheet like this one. So that means a CSV file also can be opened in Excel sheet. But uh, the same CSV file, you can also open in a notepad. See, I'm giving a right click. Go to, you know, open with and uh, open with the notepad. If I click on this notepad, can you see the same CSV file has been opened in a notepad. But when it is opened in the notepad, can you see how we have values? The values are separating with commas. Commas. That's why this is called a comma separated values file. So the same CSV we can open in Excel sheet or we can also open in a notepad. Now I want to import this CSV file. In the same way how we have done in the proc import for Excel sheet, in the same way we are going to do it. Now tell me how to write a program. Proc import. Proc import data file equal to. Then you should write a data file is equal to the path of the CSV file. Path. You know how to get it? Right click. Properties. Copy the location. Now I'm copying the location. Now go to the program. Paste the path. And keep a backward slash. Now we should write the file name. The file name is heart. Now I'm writing the heart. Dot. It is a CSV file. Now can you see what? Yes, I will tell you. 
So can you say what is the extension for CSV file? Dot CSV. Dot CSV. Now we will write dot CSV. I told you whenever writing any file path, you should always write either single or double inverted quotations. In the last example, since we use a single, this time I'll try. I'll show you double inverted quotation. Space out is equal to. Ah, in the same program, we should write space out is equal to. What is the data set name we want to have? I want to heart. have data set name heart. Heart. Then give a space. Space. DBMS DBMS is equal to. Equal to dot. Sorry. CSV. What is the extension we have written? CSV. We have written CSV. CSV. And we should write the same thing. DBMS is this equal to CSV. CSV. And then end of the program semicolon. End of the program semi run semicolon. End yeah, of the statement you. semicolon better. End of the program run semicolon. Now I'm selecting this program. I'm yeah, executing yeah. this program. Or can you say in a moment we have a hot data set which contains 16 variables and it has it has 5,209 observations. Understand this one? This is yes, how sir. we import a CSV file. Now, tell me one more program to import a CSV file. Here again, I have few CSV files. One of the CSV file is failure. I want to import this. Tell me the program again. Drop import. 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 Tell me how many steps we are doing. You know, we are giving a right click. Properties. Properties. Copy the location. Paste the location here. Backslash. 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 Dot. Fail. Failure. Table name. Dot. Yes. 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 In the table. In the table. Can you see how many steps? How many things we should write? We should do. It's very confusing. Now, instead of doing these many steps, what we can do is we have a shortcut for this one. What is the shortcut that we have? You know, now I am going to the file location. Here we have a failure. Nikila, yes, sir. Background noise from your side. I mean, my voice is getting back. Yeah, thank you. Now here we have a failure. How to get the the path? You know, activate that like you know, select that uh, file, hold the shift button, give a right click, hold shift button and give a right click. When you hold the shift button and give a right click, now we are going to have a uh, window a feature set options like this one. In one of that uh, we have an an option called copy as path. Understand? Copy as path. If you click on this copy as path. Now I'm going to the program. I want to show you something. Now I'm going to paste here, Control V. Now can you see what happened? Shot. Sure. We got al along with the quotations. We got the complete path along with that quotations. So from now onwards, you no need to do so many steps. Simply, what we should do? Go to the file. Shift and select that file. Select that file. Hold the shift button and give a right click. Yeah. And then what we should do? We should record copy as path. You know what? This is not only for CSV file. You can do it for any file, text file, okay, Excel sheet, or a PDF, whatever the document or Word document, whatever the file it might be. You can get the shortcut like this one. Now you can go wherever you want to paste the path. Now we can. Can you see? It is a demo, and it is a demo dot CSV, and we got the file path. Along with the quotation, we will get it along with the double quotation. Understand this one? Yes, sir. This is the shortcut we can do. Hold the shift button and give a right click. Okay. Then what we need to write now? We should write how is equal, equal to, to data set name. Yes, I want to have a failure. I am writing failure. Then DBMS, DBMS is equal to CSV. 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 Semicolon. Semicolon. Run. Semicolon. Select and execute. So select the program and execute the program. Now, yes, we have an a failure data set, and which has got four variables, and we have around you know seventy observations. 
Understand this one? Yes, sir. This is how we import data from SCSV file. Now, I am going to write few lines of data directly with the SAS. Now, I am writing, you know, 101, name, say for example, Lata, age 23, gender female, and she is a, she is like a, say for example, programmer, and she is earning 70,000 salary. 102, 102, name, Ram, age 29, and he is a male, and he is a tester, and he is earning 80,000. We have 103, name Kumar, he is 31, he is a male, he is a developer, and he is getting, you know, 85,000. So we have 104, we have 104, you know, Sony, he is 25, he is female, and she is an admin, and she is getting 50,000. We have 105, 105, name Lena. 28, female, and she is an HR, and she is getting 60,000. And finally, we have 106, name, say for example, Raghu, and he is 33, male, he is the manager, and he is getting 95,000. Here, I am writing 6 lines of data directly within the SAS. I told you, if you take it directly within the SAS, we call it as an A, in-stream data, data or we also ah, call it as a raw data. Raw data. And I told you, when we have in-stream data, how to write a program to create a data set? Now, you should write a data. When we have an Excel sheet or a CSV file, you should start our program with a keyword called PROC. But when we have in-stream data, you should start our program with a keyword of data. You need to remember that one. Data and one space, what is the data set name you want to have? I want to have my data set name as a demo. Now I'm writing data demo. End of the statement, semicolon. Semicolon. Then you should tell from where you should get the data. Now we should data lines. Simple data lines. Very good. You should write either data lines or what you can do. Very good. You can also write the card. End of the statement, semicolon. Now, you should write in which columns you want to put the data. Now, we should write the input. ID. ID. Now, I'm writing ID. ID. Say for example, name. 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 Good. name is, then I want to have it as gender. gender. Then gender. I want to have it as a role. And then I want gender. to have an a income. income. Now, keep a semicolon. If a semicolon, then what is the statement you should write? Data lines. You should tell the SAS system, you know, after this, nothing is left, we have only the data. To tell we have only the data, you should write the data lines. Data lines. And finally, once the data got over, run. what we should write? We should write the run state. Understand this one? Yes, sir. If I execute this program, I selected program and I'm executing this program. Now in a minute, we have a data set called a demo in the work library. If I open this data set, we have data only in ID variable and we have data in age variable and we have data in the income, but there is no data in the name, gender and role. And you know the reason. I told you by default SAS can understand only, only character data, only numerical data. But if you want to read the character data, you need dollar to symbol. help the dollar SAS symbol. to specify. Very good. So in whichever column you want to write the character data, you should write a dollar, dollar symbol. symbol. And when writing a dollar symbol, if you want, you can give it one space without space also. Can write. Now, so again, where we should write? Yes. Gender. Colors, change colors. Yellow, blue colors. By default, by default, you will get it. Oh. I will, okay. you know, by default, okay. you will get it. Gender. And again, you should write a dollar symbol. And no. after the after the role also, what we need to do? We need to specify it. Now I'm selecting this program. I'm executing this program. Now again we have a demo data set. If I open now, tell me in this data set how many variables we have and how many observations we have. 
six variables, six observations. Six variables. Six. We have six variables, sir, and we have six, six observations. Observable. Understand this one? This is how we yes, sir. program. Now my question is, how SAS knows that we should capture only one zero one into ID, Lata into name, twenty three into age, female into gender, programmer into role, and seventy thousand into info. You know how it knows back and low by default we are going to have a input pointer now tell me it is going to start the rule is space or eight characters whichever come first it will stop there remember space or eight characters whichever comes first it will stop there now it is going to start here one two three then what we have space now this one zero one will go to id variable Understand? Now, yes. after the space again, it will start here. What is the next variable that we have in the input statement? Name. Name. Now it will start here. The rule is space mundos tunda, eight characters mundos tunda, check chest tunda. Space is coming first or eight characters are coming first. Now see, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we have a space. Now, Lata will go to which variable now? Name variable. And after the space, again, two, Three, we have a space. Twenty-three will go to which variable? Age. Age variable. And after the space, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now female will go to which variable? Gender variable. And after the space, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do not have a space anywhere, so it can read maximum eight characters. P R O G R E M M will go to which variable? Whole variable. So the remaining two characters will be get ignored. And again, after the space, it will start here. One, two, three, four, five. These five digits will go to which variable now? Income. Income. So that means uh, how many characters it can read maximum into one variable? Eight characters. Maximum it can read only eight characters. So it looks for eight characters are coming first. Or space is coming first. Whichever comes first, it will stop there. So one zero one will go to ID. Lata will go to name. Twenty three will go to age. Female will go to gender. And within the programmer, the eight characters will go to role. The remaining characters will be get ignored. And the seventy thousand will go to income. Now we'll come to again the second line. Now you know that one zero two three digits we have space. One zero two will go to again ID. And R A M Ram, we have space. We'll go to name. After space two nine space twenty nine, we'll go to age. And after that one two three four four characters male will go to gender. And after the space one two three four five six tester will go to role. And after that one two three four five five digits will go to income. Understand by default what is the maximum length it can read into one variable? Eight. <laughs> But if you have a space before that, it will stop there. Now see, now if I execute this program, just to focus on the first observation role. Now if I open the demo data set, now this is how I have. Can you see how we have the programmer? Programmer is not come to. We have only P R O G R E M M. There no, there is no E R, because maximum it can read only eight characters. Now see what I'm going to do. I'm going to the program. I am writing say for example like this this one. Now tell me what is going to happen according to the explanation that we have given. Now one zero two will go to ID space one two three four five six seven eight. So there is no space in between. Now it will read L E T H A R E D. Will go to which variable? Name variable. So the remaining part will be ignored. Ignored. And then firstly the twenty three will go to A. And the female will go to gender, and out of the programmer, P R O G R E M M will go to role. The remaining part will be get ignored. And now the seventy thousand will go to income. So how SAS knows that? You know, for the time being, I do not want to make it complicated. So for the next few classes, I am going to take all the names less than or equal to only eight characters. Later we will see what we should do if we have more than eight characters. Understand this one? Yes, sir. 
Now, if I include this program, we are going to get the data properly. This okay. So that means what you can understand from this one by default, who is the delimiter between the values? This is the delimiter. This is the default delimiter. So the value which is present before the space will go to one variable. The value after the space will go to next variable. After the space will go to the next variable. After the space will go to next variable, and so on and so on. Understand this one? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, here in the folder, I have a text file called demo one. In this text file, we have 23 employees information. Now, I want to create a data set from this data. This information present in a text file. Now, tell me what is the program you should write to read the data from this text. Text file. Data. Table name, data that. set name. I want to have a data set name EMP. In employ. Semicolon. In semicolon. In file. Input. Input. In file. In file. In file. In file. In file. We should write the In path file. of the text file. Path location. So yes. Can you tell me? Just now I told you a shortcut now. How to get the path? Hold the shift. Just right click. Right click. Right -click. Right -click. And select copy as file. Copy as part. Copy as part. Copy part. part. And paste it over there. Can you see? This is a demo one dot txt. And give semicolon. Give a semicolon. And then you should write an input. Now help me to write the variable names. So this is my data. Tell me variable names in the order. EMP. I want to have EMP ID. Name is sex, salary, location. Location. Now. I want to write a program. Now, I want to specify the column name. So, I am writing EMP ID. Space name. Name. Dollar name age. is. Then Gender. sex. Then salary. And location. location. Semicolon. Run semicolon. Run. And where should write the dollar symbol? Name. After six. name, you should write a dollar symbol. Name. After the name, you should write the dollar symbol. Six. And location. After location. Now, location. Very good. Very good. Now, if I select the program, if I select the program and execute the program, select the program and execute the program. Now, in a minute, we have a data set called EMP. In the EMP data set, now can you see we have 23 observations and 6 variables. Clear this one? Yes, sir. Now, in the real this is how we create a data set. Now, you, we, we know how to create a data set from an Excel sheet. You know how to create a data set from a CSV file. You know how to create a data set when we have in-stream data, in data or raw data. And you know how to create a data set when we have data in a text file. Now, I have a data set called EMP. From this EMP, I want to create a new data set called EMP1. And you, I want to create a new data set from existing data set. And the one data set means a new data set create. This is how we let the program. Data, what is the new data set name you want to have? Employ one. Employ one. Then you call it. Now, from where you want to copy? I want to copy it from EMP. Now, set EMP. Employ. So in the data, here in the first statement, you should write the new table name. In the set, you should write an existing table name. And then keep a semicolon. Then is the end of the program. Run semicolon. Now select the entire program and execute the program. Now can you see we have EMP1 data set. This is also going to have the same data of EMP. Understand this one? So in the EMP1 also, yes, we have all the six variables and the same 23 observations. So, when you want to take any copy of existing data set, this is the program that we write. Now, so far, we know how to create a data set in five different ways. Excel sheet, CSV file, in-stream data, from the text file data, from an existing data set. Now, at least we can write some program, few lines of program at least. Since we can write a few lines of program now, now I am asking, what is a program? Since we are writing this program in SAS, 
what you mean by a saas program uh, a program is nothing but a group of statements program nothing but a group of group statements. of statements so that means uh, this is one program this is one program and this is one program and this is one program each one is a saas program so a program is nothing but a group of statements Then, if it's a group of statements, then what is a statement? A statement is nothing but it is an order or instruction to do some work. It is an order or instruction to do some work. In either of our work, even if we order channel, only each order is called as a statement. For example, if you see here, now this is a program. In that we have a first statement data EMP. That means I am telling the SAS system create a table called EMP, create a data set called EMP. That is an order. Now to create the data set, get the data from this location. So in file the path of the text file. So get the data from this location. That is an order. Now capture the data into these variables. So input variable name. Then close the program. Run semicolon. So each statement is an order or instruction to do some work in edo oka pani cheyandi nenu oka order cheyal konni just stand up sit down write it down get out if i give any order each order is called as a statement how okay each order each statement is an order or instru instruction to do some work then how do you know this is a statement how we can understand a given line is in a statement in saas each statement each statement each statement must end with semicolon must end with semicolon if something is ending with semicolon that means that is a statement now see if this is the program i started something here and where we have a semicolon here end of this, this is one this is one statement Now again, I started something here. Where we have a semicolon, here we have a semicolon. So that means this is one statement. So again, I started something here, and yes, we have a semicolon here, and this is one statement. And finally, I started something here, and yes, we have a semicolon here. This is one statement. So in SAS, each and every statement must end with a semicolon. So how we can recognize something is a statement by seeing the semicolon? Now yes, this is one statement. Understand this, sir? Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Now, now the next important thing is in SAS we can write one statement in multiple lines. If you want, you can write one statement in multiple lines. Say, for example, you know here if you see this program, proc import data file, where we have a semicolon. By the way, here we have a semicolon. That means this entire thing is one statement. But if the entire thing is one statement, if I want to see the complete statement, I need to drag it right side and again drag to left side. It is going to be very annoying, very confusing. So then, what I want to do the same statement, I am writing up to path into one line. Now I am continuing the same statement in the second line, and then out is equal to failure. Then I am writing DBMS is equal to CSV in the next line. So can you see in how many lines I have written one statement? Three lines. Three lines. Now see. Before that, I am going to delete my failure data set. Now I will execute this program. Now we can tell me whether we are going to have a failure data set or not. Can you see? We got it again. So that means so what you can understand now, if you want, you can write one statement in multiple lines. Now, and the next important point is we can also write multiple statements. Can also write multiple statements. In one line. So, for example, this is my program. How many statements I have in this program? Three, three statements. Okay. How do you know that we have three statements? Semicolon. Semicolon. By counting the number of state semicolons. So you have a semicolon here. That means this is one statement. Again, I started something here. Here we have a semicolon. This is one statement. Again, I started something here. Here we have a semicolon. This is one statement. Now see what I am going to do. If you want. Data EMP one semicolon, then set EMP semicolon, then run. Before that, 
I'm going to delete my MP1 data set. Now I'm executing this program one more time. Now can you see, do you have MP1? Yes. Yes, we got it. So what you can understand, we can write multiple statements in one line. As long as you keep the semicolon in proper places, it is not a problem at all. So it will start here. Where we have a semicolon, here we have a semicolon. Now SAS knows this is one statement. Again, it will start it here. Where we have a semicolon, here we have a semicolon. It knows that. Yes, this is one statement. Then again, it will start here. Yes, we have a semicolon here. And it is SAS knows this is one statement. So you can write one statement in multiple lines. And we can also write a multiple statements in one line. Mm -hmm. See, if you want, I can write the data in one line, EMP in one line, in file statement is in one line. The path is one line. In the input statement, if you want, you can write one one variable in one line, not a problem. Now see, before that, I'm going to delete all my previous data sets. Now see, if I execute this program, yes, definitely I will get a data set. Because the rule is, yes, if you want, you can write one statement in multiple lines. In the same way, now see, what I'm doing now, if you want, you can write data EMP semicolon, in file that was the same statement, same line, input and if you want run in the, in the same line now if i delete this emp if i input this program again yes you will get the emp data set again understand this one yes sir. and finally sas program program is not case sensitive it is not a case sensitive you can write a program in any case can you see here how I'm writing my program? Say for example, see this one. In what case I have it in the program? Upper case. Upper case. But if you want, you can also write it in lower case. If you want, you can write in mixed case or proper case. Whatever the case you want, you can write it. Not a problem at all. SAS program is not case sensitive. If you want, you can write instead of data upper case, you can data small letters. Oh, see, here I'm deleting my old data set. If I execute this program, now what is the new data set we are going to have now? Yes, we are going to have EMP1. EMP1 is also going to have the same data. Now, if you want, you can write capital D, small a. If you want, you can write the capital D. So that means you can also write the mixed case. So SAS program is not case sensitive. You can write the program in any case. Understand this one? Yes, sir. But uh, you know one thing? Data is case sensitive. You know, this is called data. This data is case sensitive. But a program is not case sensitive. This is program. This is the program. And uh, in the data set, whatever the thing that we have, this is called data. Data is case sensitive. But uh, the program is not case sensitive. Now, in SAS, how many types of programs that we have? And I told you, sometimes we start our program with the keyword of data. And I told you, that is called as a data step. You data and keyword the program start to say, you data step. Data step. Why we write the data step? Data access. To access the data and, and manage to manage the data. But these two important reasons we start. So this is a data step because we started this program with the data keyword and this is a data step and this is also a data step because we started a program with the keyword of data and sometimes we start our program with the keyword of proc and that is called as an a proc step and why we write the proc step to analyze and analyzing data. and reporting analyzing data analysis, data analysis and data reporting, data reporting. These two important reasons we write the proc step. Understand this one? Now, whether you're writing a data step or a proc step, ultimately you are going to end the program. How we are going to end the program always? We are going Run. to end the program semicolon. with the semicolon. Yes, semicolon. Yes. Semicolon. Yes. Semicolon. Semicolon. Yes. Semicolon. Statement is semicolon. Program is a program. Run with statement. Run with statement. Yes, sir. We always close our program with run statement. Statement is a semicolon. 
ప్రోగ్రామ్ అయితే కనుక రన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ రాస్తా ఉన్నా అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ వర్డ్ బట్ వెరీ ఫ్యూ కేసెస్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ రైటింగ్ ఎ రన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ వి విల్ రైట్ ఎ క్విట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇన్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ ఎట్ యూ నో వెన్ వీ షుడ్ రైట్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ రన్ వెన్ వీ షుడ్ రైట్ ఎ క్విట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ వన్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ సాస్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ రూల్స్ one more time what are the sas program rules we have a sas program is nothing but a group of statements yeah. and each statement is an order oh, or instruction oh, to do some work and in sas each statement must end with a semicolon and we can write one statement in multiple lines multiple statement in one line we can also write multiple statements in one line and sas program is not case sense to but uh, data is case data is case sense to and then you know in sas and in sas we can write we have two different types of programs one is a data step and another one is the proc step what is a data step if you start our program with the keyword of data we call it as a data step if you start our program with the keyword of proc we call it as a proc step and we use a data step for data access and data management and the next one is we use a proc step for for data analysis and data reporting but this is not a strict rule sometimes we use a data step for analysis and reporting and sometimes we use a proc step for data access and management also understand this one yes sir yes sir okay now you know from the last few minutes we are writing some kind of program now tell me how many types of colors you can see in the program yellow blue pink డార్క్ బ్లూ కలర్ dark blue color indicates keywords as keywords sometimes some places we can see light blue color the light blue color indicates the past statements that means don't think a dark blue is a not a statement a dark blue color is also a statement but those are more than the statements which are keyword and we sometimes we can see the black color what we can see in the black color you know we can see in the black color has names you know what do you mean by say names names are nothing but you know data set names and variable names data set names and variable names appear in the black color and we can see something in the purple color what we have in the purple color if you keep anything within the quotations you keep anything in the quotation that appears in purple color and you can also see background yellow color who is going to be in the background yellow color data in stream data or raw data these are the five colors that we can see and somebody said yes the red color you know when we can see the red color if we have an error that will appear in red color but you know is this program this is not a program i am trying to explain something so i am i am writing some text some notes here Can we write a notes like this one in a in a programming window? Yes, we can write it. In the real time. Green color, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Green. Yes, I will let you know. You know, when I'm writing a program in the real time, you know, you are you are writing a program today. You may require the same program after six months or one year. After six months and one year, if you open the same program, you cannot understand. You may not understand why you have written this program. and sometimes somebody might have developed this program and you are going to use this use that program in the real time so somebody have written some style and you you have a different style so it is going to be very difficult for you to understand that program that's why right. in the real time whenever you are writing a program they will encourage you to write the notes for the program how to write a notes for a program whenever you have an important programming step whenever you feel like it is important you are going to write 
or you are going to attach some notes to that program. How to write a note? We write the notes in the form of comments. We write the notes in the form of comments. Now we can write these comments in two different ways. We can write the comments in two different ways. You know, the first method is first you should keep an asterisk symbol. Which and the first asterisk symbol better. And after that, whatever the text or notes you want to, you can write it. So for example, I am writing pass demo class. And after writing the text, and finally, you should keep a semicolon. What you should do? You should keep a semicolon. So now, start with an asterisk symbol, then write the text of whatever you want to have, and finally, what we should do? We should keep a semicolon. And this is called a comment. A comment will appear green in color. Understand this one? So how to write a comment? Start with the asterisk symbol. Mm -hmm. Write the whatever the text you want, you can write it. And finally, put a semicolon. This is called commenting. Now, I want to write a different types of comment. There is a second method also. You know how we are going to write in the second method? Now, you should hold the control button and you should give the right click. Control plus right click. When you give a control plus right click, now we have a special character called forward slash asterisk symbol, asterisk symbol forward slash in between. Now we can write whatever the comment you want to, notes you want to, you can write it. Now tell me what I did here, what, why I have written this program? Excel sheet. Now I am writing, so for example, now I am writing imported Excel sheet. Sorry, imported, you know, hot CSV file. CSV file to create, you know, hot data set in my practice session on 24th, 24th, you know, Feb 2022. Now, whatever you want, you can write it. In future, by seeing that, by reading that, you could be able to understand why you have written this program and what did you have written in this program, and you should be able to understand it. This is second method of commenting. So we can write the comments in two different ways. The first one is, see, for example, these some notes I have written, you know, you should not write openly like this one. Now see, what I'm, since I have a semicolon finally here, now before the starting of this note, I'm going to keep an asterisk symbol. Now, this has become a comment. Comments will appear green in color. So now tell me how many types of colors we can see now? How many types of colors we there we can see? Whatever the dark blue color that we have, this is called keywords. And whatever the light blue color that we have, those are called statements. statements. If you have a background yellow color, that is in-stream data. And we have a black color. Class names, data set names. Data set names and variable names. These appear black in color. And if you see something within the quotations, that is, you know, purple color, purple color. Not only purple, if you keep anything within the quotations, that will appear purple in color. And the comments will appear green in color. Green color. And by the way, these are the default colors. If you don't like these colors, at any point of time, you want to change the color. I can tell you that later, but these, these are the default. And this is one of the advantages with TAS. Because... You cannot find this much of color sensitivity in any other programming language. Because of this color sensitivity, you can easily understand the program. You cannot find these many colors in any other programming language. Understand this one? Yes, sir. These are about SAS programming rules. So these are the different types of colors. And uh, the remaining things will continue in tomorrow's class. Okay, sir you tomorrow. Sir? Thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, monkey proc import law out and the right kunda koda raster program was in Saradi. Oxar exclude chess to pitch the same. Out is the right with the default of the create chess data. Ah, out ka kunda sir. DBM is equal to CSV and a book of a sir. Error to pitch it. Oxar chess and nine point four to chess. Oh, oh, 9.4 lo sir. Okay. 
So for text document, uh, we can use both data and prop step. Both the data step and prop step. Yeah. Uh, the condition CS... is, uh, if we have variable names, then only we can use the prop step. రిక్వైర్మెంట్ <coughs> Okay, but the Rendit lo best and name name less. No. Okay, For CSV and Excel, uh, we will use only. We have to use a proc import. Okay. We have to. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, then. See you.